right, guys. So we're not doing the porta potty anymore, but we are working on this brand new uh, F-150. Uh, this is uh, my uh, one customer that has all the construction equipment. He, this is his business partner, and uh, this is his business partner's brand new truck. Uh, he looks pretty good on here. Um, little light swirls here and there, but what we're going to end up doing is a light little enhancement on here. Um, and then we're going to be coating this thing uh, with some of the uh, tray. Uh, but first, we're going to wash it up real good. He just took this to Virginia. And we're going to be working on the interior a little bit. Just a little light vacuum. Now, the truck's still brand new. And Ford, you got a gigantic touchscreen here now. It's huge. So, going to work on that. And then uh, go from there. But, uh, Love this color. Ford did a good job on this one. All right, guys, we got the uh, F-150 inside. The interior is all done. And we're gonna look at the paint and see what we're dealing with. Um, it's not bad. Um, I don't know if it's just his color, but it's just real light stuff. There's a bit of water spotting on here, um, but it's not, not too bad. I think the worst panel, For some reason, these two doors, yeah, these two doors, they may have got wiped down at the dealership or something, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's not too bad. So, see, there we go. See. so we're gonna start polishing this real light uh, primer polish probably, um, and then go right into the uh, coating. I'm um, already started doing a couple test spots here, kind of see, um, but so far, Alrighty guys, so generally most of this truck is, there's not much on it as far as like the swirls and scratches and stuff. It's like little stuff here and there. Um, he definitely did drive it. There's already a couple little uh, rock chips and stuff in the here, in the uh, hood. I think he said he drove it out to Virginia. So obviously driving on the highway is gonna be a little rough on it. But um, the only thing that was really on here, at least on the hood, is water spots. Um, he had quite a few bugs on the front end here. Um, so we've already primer polished the whole hood. Um, we're gonna work our way on this fender. Gonna work our way down. Um, this is the only real spot that I'm gonna have to actually break out. So maybe go up to some polishing pads. Um, and I was actually using Sonax uh, Perfect Finish and it took out all the little lights rolling and stuff. Um, this, I don't know what the exact color code is, but uh, I'm gonna call it Primer Gray. Uh, it's almost like a black car. Um, but it, it does hide swirls and stuff, but it's very uh, soft paint. Like it's not like uh, it's not. Uh, you can't get away with like if you if you like I was using. Uh, I tried my normal combo, which is a um, uh, what's called three in one trifecta, uh, which that's the stuff that cut polishes and then it primes. But uh, it was leaving a haze even with a polishing pad. So I had to uh, step it back to. Uh, it's a Carprite bottle, but that is uh, Optimus Primer Polish. Um, but uh, Sonax uh, Perfect Finish wasn't leaving any marks or anything like that. So um, we're gonna wipe the rest of the truck down and he's already got it lifted. So it's a bit of a uh, jump. I have to jump on here to get up and do the thing. We're going to uh, coat the windshield as well. And then uh, keep on going. Shouldn't be too much longer. I mean, just gonna be kind of just putting my head down and start polishing listening to my music. So, but uh, so far so good. And uh, even coating the headlights. Uh, Ford, this, I love this whole thing here is an LED. Like it's, it's and it kind of integrates down here. So I wish this was, I'd love to see this So. stuff but it's coming out alrighty guys so all the prep work is done uh, this F-150 has been uh, all primer polished and polished the windshield and uh, it's wiped down and primed ready for the coating uh, so I say this in a few videos but uh, all the prep work for these damn coatings is all in the polishing and prep stage
to them. Making these cars so many grooves in them now. So, jeez, sir, why? Looks good, but I just think there's too many like angles. But you know, if you can see that when it starts to. It's kind of been cool out here lately in New Jersey, getting down in the to the 30s at night. So. Oh yeah, look at that. Those lines, those are what you want to see. All these lines. Buff it off with the first town. majority of it off and then second town just to make sure we got it all and then move on to the next uh, rest of the probably could do the rest of this panel and then uh, start coating a little faster but alrighty guys the uh, F-150 Lariat is all done this is a 2021 model so this is the new redesigned one and this color i don't know like i said in the other video i don't know what it's exactly called but i'm calling it battleship gray but uh so this thing received a small paint enhancement it wasn't that bad this vehicle is still relatively brand new um so there wasn't too many swirls really just in this one door here that was about it um a paint enhancement with a primer polish and then we sealed it up for three years with tray and uh, that ceramic coating is becoming my uh basically my bread and butter uh, that's my top of the line coating if you're looking for the best protection that's definitely the one to go with um i i know it does three years because i literally i just had uh one of my customers return their um three-year lease with the coating still on there i did a maintenance wash on it right before they returned it, uh, just so it looked really good. Um, vacuuming out the inside and then we washed it real good. Coating was still holding up. The only one that took a beating was the uh, windshield because their wipers were killing the coating, but uh, the glass was coated on this thing as well. Um, and uh, yeah, he got this thing lifted and got rooms for it as soon as he got it from the dealership. So uh, he just came back from a hunting trip. So uh, this thing is uh, gonna be nice and protected now. Hopefully I'll see it again. Uh, this is a pretty nice looking truck. 